Dude, hello everybody, it's episode 10 of Building Site. What are we going to do today? Episode 10, um, probably some tidy up. Done quite a lot of coding recently, and I think we should review. And we will have a probably chat about Jason Streamer when Jeremy comes and he'll, he'll be on a bit later today. And um, not sure. Quite like to talk about uh, chat about the Okay, let's go back to four cards. Feels like it would be nice to see the type instead of the status. So let's do that. We also wanted to want to have this ability to promote. Card. Okay, well, let's put that here. Um,
do 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 So let's talk about how this screen is built. We have some navigation, we click on cards, we dispatch to get cards, that's a, a, an effects, but then in our views we have a nav card, that's the page, and that then goes into the this do the tailwind stuff before we get to the table and to make that type Well, you know what you can also do. This type is a closure core. Uh, far symbol, and we don't want to confuse. And so we will put in.
Okay, I do have the Twitch stream comments up and running, I think. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the rendering of a particular card now.
Hi Malcolm. Hi, hi Jeremy. I think you, you can, can you see my screen? I am just dialing in now. I can see it. Yep. Cool. Well, I've got. Am I coming? I'm coming through loud enough. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, yeah, I put some to do's for this episode. It is a tidy up episode, and. I'm streaming my, you can see I'm streaming my OBS, so you can, um, hopefully this means you can sort of, when I change my... Oh, I see, yeah, I get the whole experience. Yeah, without having to wait for Twitch. Thank you. Um... So, uh, my thinking is about, the Kanban was nice, and it's, oh, it's all very it's cool, we've got the code in here, and, you know, this is, this is a great, but in fact, we want the same, it would be really nice to be able to order these paragraphs within this in a way that you know we want the union of these two code bases not to have to create two different code bases and maintain and, and you know yeah. if if we could transplant the drag and drop code from the dying patient of the kanban and into the new into this um we would then only have one code base to maintain uh, that was the thinking so, oh, okay. So, so yeah, at this point, you, you're talking about the drag and, drag and drop thing uh, as a standalone concept, unrelated to having columns. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, if you look at this, um, this thing here is can be thought of as a uh, a rendering of the children, ordered set of children. Well, that's what our Kanban column really is our Kanban column can be kind of thought of as having a title I mean there's a lot of similarities here um, that's what so, is, that rather than because we've got a lot of code that does stuff uh, hmm. you know with these in, uh, indexes and things like that so I'm thinking maybe it's better to keep this default uh, you know, get this working. And then we could work on the styling. So the styling would change depending on the type, but the, the functionality would be the same. Um, a little bit like the headless CS, uh, the headless um, components, headless UI sort of idea that we, we just only have one code base to worry about. And then we can render, render it differently. I'm not suggesting that, well, I, I suppose the only difference between a document and a Kanban is this document, a Kanban is really a document with multiple sections, each containing, each section containing their own cards, paragraphs, whatever, what have you. And the thing that makes a Kanban a Kanban is that you 
the flex direction is horizontal across yep. the row in one case, in the Kanban case, and in the document case, it's just vertical. It, it, yep. I, yeah. I think I agree with that. It's a, it's a layout rendering thing. It's mm. not a, it doesn't change the structure of the hierarchy. Or yeah, the, and there's a lot of things the... you would want to do in this Kanban. You want to go and edit the, the text, sure. You want to be able to click click on the, you know, or perhaps you don't want to show the, in this case, the emoji, or, pa or perhaps it's not a clickable emoji because the Kanban is asking you to move it. Perhaps it's a, a movable thing, um, but still, you know, it, it is context. The context that a card is in is going to influence its rendering, but not to the degree that we have to rewrite the controller code for every view. That, that mm. the, uh, so I, I feel we were racing ahead, doing a bit of gratuitous copy and paste yesterday, which we don't need to do. We have this new column, but really that's very similar to this new child. Yeah. So I haven't looked at the drag and drop code at all, but is there a um, consideration about the um, dragging and dropping in like uh, to nest something. So, you know, sometimes you, you drag something slightly to the right and then, I don't know, and like Notion or something, I think you can do this, you can drag and it will give you that sort of two dimensional ability to to nest something using the gyro operator. I'm not saying we should worry about that right now, but if, if we are going to um, we... think about this, maybe it's a good question. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, well, let's, Let's start a little. Let's. I, I feel it's like a bit like running before we can walk, even though I. Mm. Uh, I. I think just if we had something that could drag, this this first, one because I do. I actually do want to be able to reorder paragraphs, and that was an independent requirement, uh, because a lot of these tasks are now. Um, you know, this one was. You know, let's chat about this, and there's. Him. I mean, this URL doesn't go away, which would indicate some. It doesn't properly get cleaned up, maybe. or it does in the database, but it doesn't in the. No, that's a bit odd. That doesn't get cleaned up. Anyway, you know, lots of potential issues. But I, I think better to have a small amount of code that we may maintain. And also, we have all your focus code in the here, which we want to keep. That you did. Yep. So that's where I am. Uh, yeah, and to finish the thought, I want to be able to reorder these paragraphs because simply I wanted to have the be able to t tick that you know put this one as the first thing we were going to do this episode. So it natural naturally, I want to drag it to the top, um, and or naturally order the episode. Well, you know, I can't do that at the moment. We're short of kind of like so that. That's another reason to have drag and drop. So let's start by adding a drag and drop capability to this thing. Now, let's have a, let's have a look at Kanban code. This is the Kanban code. Doesn't sound, doesn't look too scary. So, It looks like we have drag drop context for each. Is it for each drag? Oh no, this is okay. A drag drop context, okay. For the whole, what would it be? The whole um, page. What do you mean, page? Sorry. Oh, well, I don't know. I mean, whether well, let's try. That's doing it on a card, perhaps. See, so we've got this drag drop context React component here, 
and then we have a droppable thing and then we have a draggable thing and the droppable here is is the whole column hmm do you, do you understand how uh, this works from a rendering perspective? Like, is this going to be um, awkward to add with yeah the, the, the fact we're using um, the content editor we're using for slates? You know, is that is that going to like freeze nicely, or I guess is this cloning nodes or something in order to do drag and drop? Um, no, I don't think it is cloning nodes, but we will find out. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I I kind of like, get the structure. It's it's a good way to um, sort of encode the drag and drop logic into the structure of the tree. Yeah, makes sense. So I guess we just want to change the draggable to be the content editables. Yeah, or the, okay. the slates. It looks like the the droppable the droppable classes or React component requires a function. Um, and the function requires you to merge some stuff. Um, and you have, so provided looks like it's a, an important concept and has a snapshot. I don't know what these things mean, but if we, we've got the Kanban code and we can add on I'll, put, I'll just save as I add new Kanban, which doesn't seem to work very well but I, you know, let's ignore that for now Okay. So there's quite a good documentation, assuming this is from the Atlassian. It is. Yeah. Component. Yeah. It's nice. Read me. I'm going to read this first. No, that's not liking that because we need to bring in our phone here. So this is the card is, I guess, the context that we want to render. Um, well, I don't know whether that will work. I um, yeah. Hmm. Uh, so we've got this individual card here, which we're saying, okay, render card, and then this is being called recursively because we wanted the. Okay, so. Let's put our drag drop context here. And we'll put a little on drag end. And we'll put a little function there as well. And we'll put a drag end. Our game seems to be happy. So now, so we just add something dummy in there, Is that like a dummy new div at the top, just to yeah, it a u div. What do you mean a u div? I like it. Just add a, a a test div, so, so don't try and um, make the drag and drop. Um, but well, I. I he, were you going to go straight into making the, the main uh, view or the, sort of the main component structure being draggable? 
Yeah, I was going to make, I, well, I, it does look, I mean, we've got this code that works, so we could just try to get something. Yeah, okay, yeah, go for that. Try, but uh, this one is treating the whole, I'm just trying to work out what the drop zone is here. The drop zone is the whole card, but then, okay, but this doesn't, this card itself is renderable. Uh, it is a is a draggable thing. It, I, I'm I'm trying to square it with the fact that we've got a re recursive structure here. Um, so it looks like that this drag drop drag drop context. Well, it doesn't matter where it is really, but I kind of oh, okay. Like let's put it on there, but it does look like our droppable. I'm looking at this droppable. What is this? This is the column that can be. You can drop it anywhere in the column, and we're saying that you can drop it anywhere in the card. You can drop a card onto another card. Well, okay. Let's try and make this whole thing then droppable. And that would require droppable. I don't know what that would. Oh, this would be the droppable. This would be the card ID, I guess. And then I don't know what the key is really. But we'll make that the, the ID. This is all fun. And then it looks like that requires a provided and a snapshot and then we have to return an element and the fur and the we have to in here put in A merge. This is how the TW tailwind function works. It does accept. Uh, it does sort of generate the um, if, if the last one is a map, then it will use that. Um, anyway, that's this is how you put it up as a second argument. Okay, um, and then the draggable is the paragraph itself. That's in the con, does it? Bottom. So it's this is the card. So this would be the the draggable thing. And it would require P would be No, we want these individual, yeah, it has to be in a sort of for loop. So where are we iterating? So this this is saying we're going to be iterating here. We're going to say it's got children. So, right. And okay, and so it looks like it will be 
here is the draggable. And that would require a key child ID, I guess. Draggable ID. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we might have just got our index for free because I'm having a look at the code that we did. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. That's this looks right. clear, but this is a research of Spike, so we might just get away with it. Otherwise, we can always backtrack. We take that, and then the first card, we'd have to sort of make this a div in a way so that we can bring in our ref, in a, in a ref provided, and we can merge that with And presumably, we need something that is going to be a draggable thing. So we'll have a little div here, which would be uh, the drag handle props. I will call it drag me. Right. But, okay, uh, we can make a little box around that. Uh, by doing cw border two and it's popping up on there. No, I didn't know. We haven't got any, but we are getting. Um, we are getting. Oh, needs a drop of the light. D, did we forget that? Possibly. Drop of the. There's a placeable provider right at the a placeable yeah. provider right at the bottom. Dropable ID. There's a what? Right at the bottom on the right, there's a placeholder provided, which which we don't have. At the bottom of the code on the right. I don't know if that's important. It might yeah. There's drag handle props. And then there's draggable props. Is that what you're saying? Oh, a placeholder. Oh, oh yeah, right. Okay. It might be unrelated. It might be. So where is that meant? That was as an oh, so that's part of the Oh, so that's like a container for the children. Possibly. Okay. A zone or something. Perhaps. So I think get yeah, uh, go play on that one. That uh, yeah, it feels like it's going here. Right, let's try it. That is pretty cool. 
I'm not certain. We didn't know there was bugs in the Kanban actually either. So we might have got those those warnings there as well. No, no, we're not getting warnings. So. Um, We just refresh this and just see if we can get the, the warning to disappear. So it is saying that droppable requires a droppable ID prop. Droppable. Yeah, that was the one I was expecting. Is it because? That's meant to be a JS. Drop of our ID, so you get something. Here. Well, that's inside a div. Do we need to wrap this inside a div then? I don't understand mm. how this adopt React class thing works, but. If you, if you do just wrap it inside an extra div, does it solve it? Yeah, okay. Wrap uh, what inside? Oh, uh, wrap. Like, where you've got droppable, like, three lines up, just, yeah. um, just open a new div outside of it. Okay. Right there. Yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. I'm wondering if this, the first ID, it's like Neil for the first time, or I don't know. I oh, know it won't be. Um, oh, uh, no, I was going to say this spelt different, but no, it's the same. Dropable. It's actually interesting that the drag me is that that layer because it feels like it should be within the dotted lines for a start. But I um, I mean, let's just proceed because it's not the end of the world, and we can always summon Lucio, and he will fix it for us and educate us what we did wrong um, if we get alternatively if we get really stuck we can say oh it's because of you know the, the warnings if we're not getting so what I one proposes that we print out what we do know when we click on this drag end and see what it tells us what do we know so but first of all, I'd like to see why is this drag this drag icon? This needs to be a sort of what do we use Unicode? Do we use for little icons? I was thinking that we have a little um, thumb something that makes it obvious that it's yeah. Uh, I think it's quite common to have like a it's like a little matrix, like nine dots or something in a grid. Yeah, that's that thing. Can you whack get an SVR. SVG icon for that, can't you? Um, anyway, um, okay. Let's see where we're we're dotted. Here, yeah. so. I guess we're saying that this is the draggable.
let's just put that in Okay, we've got that checked in. I wonder if we made this one the draggable. Rather than here. I mean, is your issue with where the drag me appears? Is that you, know, you want it to be next to the paragraph? Yeah. Well, yeah, I want it to be next to the thing that's being dragged. So the drag handle. So, so what is the droppable in our in our world? The the droppable. Well, it's it's potentially you can put it inside here. You know, that's the that's what you were, you were saying. You can yeah anything. Yeah. Well, I, yeah, my my thinking there was that if this this approach of droppable, you know, if this library basically supports nesting, then that would yeah. Then this can be an incremental solution. But if it doesn't support nesting because these things don't compose, then, mm. uh, then yeah, this is a bit of a throwaway. But that's fine. It does look like they do compose. Yeah, I agree. It does. Yeah. Yeah, I I always get that whenever I deal with recursive code. I think I lose 20 IQ points or whatever the expression is. It's kryptonite because you're having to think of, <laughs> you know, infinite recursion. So, in a way, like a um, if I want to put my I want to put my. I want this whole to drag me to be. The word drag me needs to. Yeah, the word. Yeah. Um. I'm tempted to just play around with this and say that is the draggable. Hmm. No, not really. Oh, well, I guess. Okay, let's do it. Let's just play around with this stuff. line so 
just within the dotted line here. We're going to put a little um, No, that's not working now. That dragon isn't working. Ah, we have a visitor. Let me st stop. Let me just pause. Okay. Good to go. Yeah, I'm going to give this some thought because maybe we don't want to rush into dragging and dropping the nest nested like we can make small small gains but what would that, that even look like because the code that we've got is recursive so we don't know like we want to be able to drag and drop Kanban columns as well as drag and drop individual items. So, yeah, I mean, for now, I, I think it's not not something, we, not something we need to worry about, um, unless you had a particular itch to scratch. Uh, I think just knowing it's possible is fine. And I, I just posted a link. To, there's like a whole issue thread on that, um, Atlassian repo where. Where people are discussing this nesting, and someone's created this nice example of doing it. So I, I think I'm happy that it's possible this library allows us to do it. Um, right. So I, we should just focus on reordering siblings for now. And if you need to have a promote demote button, you you, you could do that. Yeah. You know, okay. Sure. Out. Sure. Yeah. yeah. But e yeah, even with that, um, even without the constraint of having uh, of doing the nesting we've still got the issue that the the drag when we we've still got the issue that our our code is currently recursive and because it this is how it works it it's at least two levels of recursion in this case because it calls itself down here it goes for all children it goes down and so I think we have to flip back to the last just so that we get this working and we've got to sort of do what I hate doing which is reasoning about code but you know that um, So right now we can have a guard which says, you know, this has to be a um, top level or something. You know, might. Mm. I'm not sure if we expose that in this data structure, but you know, like only drag the top level things in this recursion. Right. Yes. So only we can do that by saying the children, it's just the children are draggable, which is what we've done here and we make the whole superstructure kind of droppable to make it what do we buy on it what do we buy by doing that but yeah uh I'm kind of surprised that right now we're not seeing drag me nested anyway. Like, surely it's kind of working as intended for anything at the top level. Yeah. I just wonder why we've got this twice. But I can't. Hmm, let's try and delete one of them. 
Oh yeah, I've got a tiles in there. So that was a bug from Yeah, it's weird that this is it's almost like we've got some nils that have crept crept into our database. Here, yeah, this looks like it's a bit weird. One of those, it's one of those things where it's always the end of the day that I, you know I don't have the the mental energy left to do anything like fix this kind of reason about code like this. This is always a morning job. So uh, we'll go slowly. First of all, I'd like to get to the bottom of why. I'd like to just fix this issue. Just to, just It could be because with this new paragraph, a new child button, which I won't click. But I don't want these bugs to accumulate and then for us to not be able, you know, the drag and drop not to work because of the bug. Uh, so I'm going to just see what this looks like. Interesting. So it starts with EB, then goes F0, and then 60. So it's almost like it's mm, F0 is still a Thing. But maybe it's an orphan thing. thing. That's right. So maybe that's been deleted. Let's have a look at that thing. Maybe it doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist as a thing. All right. Um, okay. What do we do? Um, so you said there is a problem. I, I'm, I'm still not clear what the problem is. Is it that drag me appears outside of its? Well, that's layer? yeah, yeah. That, the, that's it. Because that I mean you could solve that by passing in the parameters necessary to create the drag. The drag me. You could, you could pass. You could pass the parent. It passes in as parameters to the card function. So so that you can render that button inside of the card. Yeah, okay. Well, this is where it gets rendered, this drag me, but then it calls card there. So we're saying yeah. that we want the draggable handle okay we'll have the draggable handle in the card that's what it, you know so let's try and do that which is the so if we take you saying take the provided put it into the uh yeah you could take provided or i mean you could even um do this logic here and then pass it through as some sort of opaque thing but yeah or, or you can just pass through provided okay need, yeah. let's pass that through for now um, okay. um, and then we can put provided here, knowing that it won't be provided on the first go, it will be a nil, okay, on the first parent, and then we can say, well, ah, if you're provided, then we've got to give you a track handle. So, uh, then, then, But then it, yeah, it's almost like put the drag handle here, okay. But not provided here because it's eclipsing here. So it's like, well, basically, this is a the parent provided. Parent, what would you call that? That would context provided. All right, yeah, but it's not. It's the draggable provided, isn't it, or something? But, all right, and we have this this little thing here. Which is context provided. 
can wrap those a couple of go well we didn't need that okay and yeah, then it doesn't work at all we lost It's context provided. Oh, is Neil? So we need to say just okay when context is provided. Yeah. Okay. And I don't see any drag me. Mm. So context provided is never cool. Is it because our Oh, oh, it's multi-method, isn't it? Yeah. Because we're still in that multi-method, so we're still in that. It seems strange that it, shouldn't, that it doesn't pick up the parameter. It doesn't, it doesn't enforce the parameter or argument. No, no that's right. I'm not seeing any drag me. Right, uh, uh, when context provided. All right, no context. So, one, two, three, four, in the card. Render card. Let's just show it out. No, no context. So it's almost just, just here. A drag hand card. Oh, so hang on. It calls card, and then card. Card needs to have here. Sorry context provided, which is then passes there, and then the 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 view. Oh, God. Sorry, the view has to say card 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 nil nil nil. All right, here the drag me's back. Okay, there we are. It's it's sort of in the dotted line, and we can have a a an SVG, couldn't we, for a drag? Yeah, I'd place that a um, well, I'd place a Unicode symbol you could use. Okay. Oh yeah. Do you know what it is? In the Twitch. <sighs> okay. Oh no, we're not going to spend the whole the rest of the episode trying to figure out why we can't do Unicode between us. Yeah, we are. <laughs> Should we just, we just use the actual Unicode? How many paste it in the chat? Uh, yeah. What do we do here? Oh, I see. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, I can do that. I can do that. Um, Easy enough. Unicode name or hex. Okay, let's try 9789. Nine seven eight three. All right. No. Not. Oh. In, in, in quotes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's still, it's still nine thinking. seven eight three. Oh, I see. That uh, I can't drag and I can't, I can't copy and paste between machines. So this is mean, such a fail. What do you mean? Oh, you're using two machines? For yeah, I can't copy and paste between machines. Uh, you can slack it, actually. Slack it, I can't do it. So you've got uh, three screens up then? Yeah, and okay. There we are. Alright, hooray. Um, and then that one becomes the drag hand. Yeah, okay. Did you make that yourself then, Jeremy? 
No, that's the Unicode. Okay. That's, what, what's that the Unicode for? Uh, it's a hexagram or trigram. So it's from, yeah, trigram for a, it's a cool you know, Chinese divining thing. Oh, okay. The each. Oh, each, yeah. Okay. Well, that's grand. So we now need to look at what our drag listener is telling us. Okay, Dragon is telling us something. So my Discord's still looking at your Slack. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, uh, there we go. Okay. Can you see me? Yep, yeah, you're back on the, um, the DDR. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's an improvement. What am I doing? Right, drag, drag something. Let's drag this one up here. Uh, drag end. Okay, draggable is. Right, so it it was this one. This is what I was dragging. Okay, that is the draggable, the the chat about JSON schema, six DD, and the the source droppable was the parent card four seven nine. That is the one that we wanted, and the reason is drag drop. The destination is oh yeah the parent. So it's going from the desk. It's going from the parent to the parent. So there's your nestability. You know, you know what par You know what parent it's going to. And then the index. What we're sort of saying is, it's going from two to zero, and therefore we need to order accordingly. Right. Hmm. There's no um, succinct uh, name for that enclosure, like a vector operation. And splice and you translate. The... Yeah, we, we sort of need a generic operation for giving a vector. This would be a nice thing to, to work on. It feels like something you would do TDD style. Nice little hiring exercise. So, but we are getting the, we are getting the information that we need. So, okay. Let's create a little we create a little thing here, order. Um, so the problem that you've got, and we want to say, um, like switch, we want to go C to D, you know, we want to swap rounds, and then that should be, uh, we should end up with. B A D. Agreed? Yep. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. Let's switch be a function that takes uh, a collection, a, and what do they call it here? Okay. Uh, a source and destination, don't we? Source index and a destination index. Uh, 
and then we do switch and we get nil uh, because we've got to at least return the collection. Okay. Oh, we still get nil. Uh, double L. Huh? Double L. Double L. Yeah, okay. Interesting mm -hmm. that we, yeah, okay. Why don't we get a compiler error when we do that? I guess it's because it would then refer to the var and that's nil, I guess, I don't know. Okay, cool. Mm, don't normally write code in code script, don't trust it. But uh, this would naively be you would. I think you just re remove and then reinsert. Yeah, I think you remove up to the sort in depth. Oh, with the what would you do? You would. You would take. What an interesting problem. Well, we we, we already uh, had the delete code from when we, you know, delete an element in a vector, when we uh, remove paragraph, or when we press backspace. So we've got something that solves this. Do we remove the source? Yeah, I, I think you want to remove the source and then insert, like, do those two two stages. Hmm. So, so whatever you can do, you're gonna thread here. Thread col through remove i. Did you want me to try? Yeah. Oh, thinking. Um. I'm just thinking. Not hugely happy with two powers. Just taking one out and putting one in the. I guess it's something like, so if it was, I think the problem is, oh my God, sorry. So with the remove, we know what the remove is. It's the subvec of Subject is a thing, okay. Why isn't that working? No. Um, oh, because I don't know. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've got an exception that time. Uh, why would it be an exception? It's because it's saying. So. Yeah, why is that? Uh, no, that's given me just A. But I. Oh, I know. I, this is because it's exclusive, and then that one is no. Hang on, source. 
index is still two. Yeah, but then it's. Oh, oh no, so okay. It's the original source index, isn't it? In this case, so it's. So it's. Yeah, I don't want to concat them. But that, no, that is what I'm going to have to do. All right. No. Uh, oh, and it's double L again. Oh, no. Thank you. Right. Got it. Okay. So. So you do want to deck. No, I want to get rid of C, don't I? C. Oh, okay. yes. yeah. Right. Yep. And then we put in the, we're going to insert into D. And the prop, the, the, so we take everything up to D. There's a split, isn't there? But anyway, we've got this thing. So let that's the call after the after removal, and then we split it. Something like we split our destination index file after removal or something like that yeah and then we put in a um Source index. So it's the nth call source index, and then we'll put, oh, yeah, and then we'll put in the pair one. Uh, and C in the right place, and then, yeah, that's sort of right, isn't it? Really? That should be C. Any of the flipped. Because the definition index, huh? And the destination index is that is that um, it's still an old world index. It's not like once you've removed something, we're not like getting confused here because we. Yeah, I know. Yeah, mm. we've got A B D, and then we. I, I mean, I just know there's just more. Of, I mean, I've got to stop programming at four o'clock in the afternoon. That's the, that's the solution. It's just not a time limit. Yeah, I mean, the, the idea that we're traversing the the source, you know, the coal like three times just for the source seems pretty pretty hard. Yeah, it just seems completely. You know, what are we doing? So let's try and find a, a better algorithm for this, because. Is there anything on Stack Overflow? It's got to that point. I found uh, stop two items in a vector. Oh yeah, uh, is that a closure yeah. one? 
Uh, this is all, yeah, yeah, it's closure on um, GitHub. I'll paste you the link on Slack. The Twitch is off, obvious. We've got some spam. So, so, yeah, that's a nice, nice way of doing it, I suppose. That is nice. Isn't it? I actually had a good job, job getting it as an accident. Yeah. You still on the um, CPAD? Middle of it. You mean count items? Sorry? Did you mean to do account I count items? Yeah, I did. Thank you. Let's go. So if I try to swap something with minus one, exception, if I try to do that, okay, cool. What if you did minus 1.5? <laughs> What's that? No, no, if you no. Did you do minus 1.5? That's wrong. Because you've got DBCA. Yeah, that's cool. That's really good. Gosh. I'm trying to work out how it works. Yeah, well, it's because map en map entries are... Um, is it like a map entry? No, I guess the map entry is too specific. Oh, yeah, 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 right. So you the, the, you, you can associate... Yeah, the, right, that's really, really... Yeah, that's good. Because they're indexed. Vectors are indexed. Yeah. It's the Perl, the Perl model. Gosh, well, that's a good one. So we could use our new swap feature now. To Um, yeah, this is a sort of event where we ask the parent to swap its children. Okay, so let's do that. So the parent is the parent ID. Okay, no, it's not. It's the ID. So. The the event that we want to dispatch on is swap child, swap children, ID, the, well, we, well, let's, it's the droppable ID, 
capital ID of the result. No, it's the source Well, I think that's right. So, so we want no, the parent right. and the, the two indexes. Yeah, it is. This is 60. I'm moving 60. I put it at the top. Now, the draggable is 60. Agreed. But the source has a droppable of 479, which is our parent. So it's coming from the source container. Oh, I see. And the destination. So. The droppable here I just don't know where we can use our we say ID source index. Okay, let's try this one. the source and that's the destination. Destination index. And we'll have an event. Before sorry? Oh. Uh, I was gonna say before implementing the the handler for that, uh, do we just want to put in a guard to check that the the droppable ID of both is the same, just, just in case for whatever reason our drag and drop thing allows us to drop from you know, different Yeah, levels. droppable ID. It was the droppable, uh, it was the, the droppable ID of the destination and the droppable ID. Yeah, we'll just set. Uh, the droppable ID of the the source. It, it's almost like we want to know that the droppables are the same, and then. And that is the same as the ID. Is that what we're saying? Yes. Yeah. That that would make me happy. Otherwise, I'm well, we're going to break yeah, we're, we're just yeah storing trouble just for ourselves. And then we'll uh, swap on this. Swap. Sorry to interrupt again, uh, but like the the way you've got your OBS rendering, like it maybe it's because I'm using such a small screen, but it's very hard to see. The detail. Is there a way you can like pop out the viewer in the OBS thing that you're streaming? No, no, it's not. Yeah. Um, I can try and make this a bit bigger. Oh no. There was, there was a thing you. Um, I can't remember the term for it, but you know, you, you can you can see that sort of pop out viewer, but that's that doesn't work, doesn't it? Um. Oh yeah, there is. There is. Yeah, it's called. Um. Yeah, Enable preview. I think. Oh no, it's not. Hang on. Projector. That's it. Yeah, window projector. Yeah. Okay. All uh, right. Yeah. 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 And if you share that. And then share that. Yeah. Ah, but that saves my eyes. Thank you. Right. Oh, thank you. Yeah. For that. I forgot. Window projector. Right. right so you're writing the. Uh, well, we can get the, the swap children, so I'm going to say, well, give me my database. And I have the ID, source index, destination index. 
test mesh index, and then we uh, we bring this one in. Update db dot store id swap update in swap source index destination uh do 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 the children which is yeah. I think it's children. It is. And we want to mark optimistic. Yeah. How do we do that? Um, I think it's rapid. May it be changing the. Where do we mark, mark optimistic? Yeah, we set optimistic true, but we do that in a let's write everything but I'll update the whole trial. Sure, but let's not worry about going to the database just yet. Okay, yeah, sure. Yeah, uh, let's just change it in the UI. Um, so let's yeah, let's refresh this. And then let's let's say this one, but this one swap these two. No, it didn't work. Oh, uh, no, change. Oh, because it's it's our normal. We've done something. Swap children with it. We've done that. Doc store. Oh, it thinks it's the name is Doc store. Oh, what? No hand. I registered for. Oh, it's because it got an FX at the end. So you just want regevent. Huh? Um, you're using regevent FX. Yeah. That's not. Yeah. It's not an FX, is it? It is. It is okay. What's that? I can't. You, you... Like, you, where, you, where you've got swap children, and you've got ref, RF slash reg event FX. That you think that's right, and you're yeah. returning a DB. Okay. Oh. Oh, I see. I've got to return a DB. Yeah. Yeah, I, I can't remember. Yeah, no, I do. I have to do it that way. Mention. Yeah, you know, you're right. Yeah, it did work. It refreshed, yeah. it, it refreshed but it... so what's this visual glitch it's got? It seems to be a little bit janky. That looked right. I think it's, it's like it pops pops in and then it refreshes yeah well it's because when it it doesn't it, I guess beautiful D and D doesn't really know where to where we're going to render these things it's just going to try and it's just adding some space Subtle, subtle things. Yeah. It's pretty cool that it works. It's pretty what, cool that it what, works. Yeah. What What happens if you do have the focus in um, in the slate editor? If you just have something. Oh, okay. Does so it, I had the focus in the slate here. Have that and just select a word or something in there. Like, how does it look to drag that? Yeah, it remembers the. Amazing. That's really cool. Yeah. I mean, that's the power of React, I think. Yeah. Keeping that DOM state alive. 
So finally, 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 we have to um, well, um, <laughs> we have to update the database. Yeah, but that's just a matter of doing quick entity on the on the yeah <clears throat> so we update this thing where we We're going to update the children with the swap. Plus, we're going to mark optimistic the yeah. Update. Okay. Plus, we're going to. No, let's do this, right? We let we get the card, which is the entity. We then update the card. We call that new card, which is an update of the old one. Okay. And now we return we suck in the doc store ID, the new card, and we put into the new card. Uh, next we don't want to dispatch on the mark optimistic. So I think we should mark optimistic as the as a step in the oh right, yeah, that's where we need. Okay. okay, right, so So we were going to chat about Joe, so what did we do? We, we you want to move on to the top, didn't you? I put that one to the top. Right. Should we just re put that one here? I'm not seeing any of that. Yeah, yeah. Right now, let's see if it's saved. Yeah, it has. Mm. Well, that's useful. Got to be able to delete these people. I mean, this is just a bug. I can write a little function on the database to go and clean up this. The nice thing about the having that repo is that you can write a little function to. You know, update that entity and just say, well, if you don't see it, you, you know, only is there a, yeah, it's kind of like a reduce over the vector and like a map some filter. You could do a filter. Filter mill, yeah. Um, th this would also be an issue if you did want to evict something. So What's that? You would get, the, you'd get these holes if you just evicted a, something, wouldn't you? Yeah, if you're evicted. I mean, maybe the, the, the solution is to always just ignore where, where you see a child that doesn't, you don't have a component for it. And you just, you know, you know, like just, okay, skip that one. Hmm. That's quite right. Yeah, you, you could <laughs> easily have evicted this thing. It's just gone. Nobody told the parent about it. Um, you just live with the fact that that's just there, but you don't display it, or you put a little evicted. So we... I mean, there may be um, reason for having it, like in the sense that, um, let's say you've got another client with certain documents in, unless they happen to insert everything in their graph of things at the same time in the right order, mm. then 
might have these intermediate states where you've got the parents but not the children they're, they're still being sent by the other user yeah so, so I think being able to cope with it is important yeah so you know this is just not there anymore because it's been looked up it's been looked up so it's sort of okay right, right. When the when the ID is there, okay. Um, yeah. Okay. I wonder if it's actually, you know, yeah, that's the same thing. The card, you know, and then let's uh, always want to do turn data into card. Probably card there, isn't there? Probably card somewhere. No, so why didn't that work? It's because I didn't get all my data. When data, when card. When. change the, the function argument name at the same time when you, when you just did that? No, oh, no, don't think so. I'm changing that one, yeah. that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. But maybe it needs wants to have a refresh. Yeah. What's it? And legality. Uh. Oh, is it getting complete? Oh, card it already exists as a function. Oh, it does. Yes, yeah, yeah, you're calling it as a function. So, is that right? You, you have yeah, card it, as a context. So maybe but it is there, isn't it? It's it's being. Yeah, but that that's it as a map. But in in this nesting, in this pond map index, you know, where you iterate through children, you're calling card as a function, or are you calling render card? Oh, I've got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. There, yeah. Card as a function. So I, I, so maybe... That's right. I can. Card data. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, where are we calling card as a function? Um, here, okay, that's right. So this is... Um, and maybe that's a bad name. Yeah. yeah. That view card, or, or card, let's call it card view. And, uh, um, and it, it's this one, isn't it? Card view. And then uh, view. Uh, that will be in views. So it's a card view. And it's a declare. There So we did this. No, we didn't do that yet. Oh, we didn't do that. No, my, that's my, have I lost my ability to clip? I guess we have. Ah. Well, hang on. This might be just a. Let's have a look. Does the drag drop work? Yeah. Okay. So let's.
Because when you fix drag and drop, uh, or enhancing, I'll push these to do a new weekend. I don't know if this, these check function buttons ever were, oh hang on, they, they definitely worked, but that might be, let's try creating a new card, perhaps, see what happens. Well, that's okay. I mean, we can we can fix that bug. Mm. If if we were to just disable the um, draggable, like comment out the draggable, could it be this some sort of well wrapping that the drag and drop thing prevents us interacting with? I don't know. Um, yes. Yeah. I don't know if there was any. We can definitely still do that. So this action have we got any event on that action at all? I can't there's the I oh on change. So we're getting This is this. Oh, I don't know what this is. Don't know what this is at all. I can't remember. This is in the paragraph render. You have this delete thing, and then you have this. say here so if it can if the status of the component yeah I don't know I don't care you know, it's just uh, I you know maybe there's they, they don't have statuses anymore I don't know it's too late in the day I can't figure it out right if if you did just comment out the that that droppable, sorry no the draggable wrapper around it, you could just quickly check whether it is the fact yeah. that it's wrapped in a draggable. Uh, you mean like uh, just just not have that drag drag drop context? Uh, I think the context is probably fine. It's just it's well yeah maybe all of it yeah. But, yeah um, due to the, oh, I'm using in a way to undo the pull. Go back to this commit and see see whether it works then. Right, so I, I, I see the difference between the event handling, or, you know, the, the, the mouse capturing. So. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So it'll be pull pull uh, pull that one. But I don't, you know, it's uh, yeah. No, I, yeah. You know, you just get to a point where I, I'm going to be doing more damage to it. Just need to go yeah. when I'm fresh and re reason about it, see what's going on. I mean, we've got some errors happening, and okay, well, I might check it out and have a play. I've got yeah, I, yeah. For me, code gets to a point of entropy where I can't, I, I just need to clean it up. Uh, kind of, it almost feels like it. We either rewrite it or or we carry on just trying to simplify. Um, but I think these these things come 
Yeah, it's just an interesting process when you're recording. You're always trying to make progress and things that you're just not doing. You know, it doesn't feel like you're spending the time doing that much needed thing of just going and cleaning up. So, well, I don't know. It's my personal experience. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of code written where you just see this effect of multiple people on the code and no cleanup and technical debt because maybe there's a deadline or somebody's driving it and you can sort of you get all all kinds of technical debt creeping in and I feel that we've got that but you know if you spend all the time on balance getting everything clean and tidy you don't actually sometimes you, you just get to a local maximum but yeah, it would be good to see if you undo all these changes, whether this, what is the interaction, because this seems to work. Yeah. And we delete this one. Bang. Yeah. That's still there. No, it's not. So yeah, we're not. Some we're not properly deleting it from the app state. But you know, all these issues are, are what prompt me to think. You want to have a small amount of code as possible, um, but yeah, that was good. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Martin. Um, should probably stick around and chat. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll just uh, yeah. let me let me hang on. Um, let me stop. Okay, bye everybody. <laughs>